Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get your string that you're going to be using for your garlands. I'm just using balloon string here in white. You can use any string you want to use. Um, I've seen people use some of the rope string, but I didn't want to use the rope string. I wanted to use this. So what I did was I went ahead and measured how far and how long I'm going to need these balloon strings to hang my garland. So I measured already, I pre-measured before I'm doing this here. So you guys can go ahead and pre-measure that way. It's easier for you guys. And I've actually already pre-cut mine. So this one here is mine. It's pretty long. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on top of my couch. But this is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna put that aside. <coughs> So all the um, tissue paper that I got is actually different colors here. I have this metallic silver. I have one that's in stars. This one has like metallic stars on it, silver stars. And then I have white. And then I also have this multi-pack here. There's 25 sheets, um, gift tissue, paper tissue, whatever you want to call it. I have baby blue. I have sea foam green. I have pink lavender and yellow so all these colors here i actually got these from the dollar store and this pack here was a dollar so everything in this pack was a dollar there's 25 sheets in here and it does have the pastel colors which is great for the spring and easter so if you're decorating your room for the holiday or easter whatever it may be or if you just want to decorate your new room or whatever it may be Dollar store has the tissue paper and it's a dollar for 25. You can't go wrong with that. And then I do have this multicolor here also. This came in the pack. However, this doesn't really have a lot. It just came with two sheets of the white. It came with three sheets of the stars and then also three sheets of the silver. So I don't know what color scheme I'm gonna go with yet, but you guys, if you guys have something in mind, then you guys can definitely use that. But I wanna start off with the pastel colors. So I'm gonna go ahead. So let's start with the lavender. So what you wanna do, hold on. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your tissue paper. So you're going to spread it out. I know it's wrinkled. It's okay because you're going to cut it anyway. But you want to go ahead and fold it over once. Okay. So I don't think this thing is... I think it's equal on all four sides, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's not really equal on all four sides, but you want to get it um, laying on the longest side. And you want to fold it over once. So you'll fold it over like so. And just want to fold it over. Make sure you get it on there. Nice and perfect. And then you want to fold it another one. So you'll fold it like that. And then you can even go one more or you can leave it like this and then you can cut, you can start cutting. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and fold it once more. Or you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open. So you can go ahead and get your scissors. I have mine here. I can use this, or I also did bring some hair scissors, just whichever one cut better. But let's start off with this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it over another time and you are going to cut it so we want to cut it this way and you don't want to cut it all the way up here only because you want to leave at least maybe an inch and a half or two inches because you are going to be twisting this over the string and you want to make sure you have enough space because I noticed that when you start twirling them, they start to get smaller and you won't have enough room. 
So we are, I'm going to go ahead and cut mine about one centimeter wide. And you're gonna go all the way up until you hit hmm, maybe two inches. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So you're going to go ahead and do that until you get to the end. Don't worry if it gets wrinkled, it's okay. We can flatten it out again. It's just it's in the way when you start cutting, but it'll be fine. So you'll just wanna start cutting, keep cutting. And you're at the end here. So now you have it all cut. And now you want to go ahead and open your cut pieces here. So you're gonna go ahead and open it. And you're going to twist. So you're going to twist gently because tissue paper is very, very fragile and it'll break or it'll tear. So I have it here. I'm twisting it. You want to twist it until you get it to this form here. So I know it looks weird right now. So this is what you have here. And now with your string, since I'm using my balloon string here, you're just gonna go ahead and put it over like so. So you're gonna put the string underneath and you're going to fold it over. So it'll look, so it'll start to look like this. Let's see. And then you're gonna twist it until you can get it tight like that. So you'll have it like this. So I'll show you the finished product afterwards, but so far this is what it is. And I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But let me show you what it looks like up close here. So it'll look like this. So that's what it looks like for now. And that's just one of the tissue papers on there. So I'm gonna think of the color scheme and show you guys the final product.